My name is Enzo Muschek and I'm a pre-sales solutions consultant with Siemens Digital Industry Software here at our location in Munich, Germany. Today, I'm going to give you a look behind the scenes at what Siemens and Reflect have been working on for the past year. And I'm not going to lie, it's a pretty major step forward. AR content creation has never been so easy. Reuse your existing content from a Team Center PLM environment in order to drive off your AR content creation process. Integration into update and change management processes. Seamless authoring process in a scalable fashion. Now, let's have a look at it. You might be thinking PLM systems are complex structures handling vast amounts of information. Can this really be so easy? And the simple answer is yes. Because we integrated it into a simple three-step process consisting of authoring the content, publishing the content, and then viewing the content on mobile end devices. I want to take you on a journey and we start with the first step, authoring the content. And we're going to start right here in the Team Center PLM environment. What you see here is the digital representation, so the digital twin of the actual quality test machine that is standing behind me. And on the right hand side you have the JT visualization, on the left hand side you already here have the AR scenario linked to components, bill of materials, everything that makes up the digital representation of the quality test machine. Me as an author, I want to go ahead and reuse this content. Go ahead, open up from Team Center my integrated authoring environment which is Cortona 3D Rapid Manual and it reuses the existing content, the digital twin and everything that comes with it and opens it up in one environment where I can create and polish the entire augmented reality scenario. Be that 2D content, 3D content or textual content, even graphics. I can do that in one environment. So let's t have a look at it. Um, yeah, we got the entire bill of material structure right here. The digital twin, we got the visualization right there. And of course, the textual information. And last but not least, this is a maintenance procedure for the automation system of the quality test machine. A step-by-step -step animated guide. So let's take a look at the step-by-step -step guide. Main doorknob switch, open up the door, taking it out to Synamics motion control units, I'm pretty confident that this will work and tell the service technician out in the field exactly what he has to do at his line of work. So I will go ahead, say stop this, I will save this back to Team Center, I'm pretty happy and we are already done with creating the entire augmented reality scenario, reusing existing content, creating it in one integrated environment, saving it back to Team Center. That's step one, authoring the content. Step two is publishing the content. That is what we are going to do now. The first thing that I have to do is go ahead and assign a particular tracking configuration that is already maintained within the Team Center PLM environment. Because we are here in the Digital Enterprise Experience Center, I have a physical exhibit of the quality test machine standing behind me. So I will go ahead and use the 3D model based tracking configuration and assign it to my AR scenario. Really the last thing that I have to do now is publish the content to the Reflect One Augmented Reality Platform. Once again, use the context menu directly out of Team Center, go to Publish to Reflect One, log into the Reflect One Augmented Reality Platform once, take a look at all the content that is already there, and I will go ahead and go into the right folder structure so the service technician out in the field can easily find and search for the content, and go for finish. It tells me, right, do you want to publish it? I confirm with an okay. And the entire magic goes behind the curtains of Team Center right now. So what we have created is a simple authoring process where you can stay in one environment, reuse your content, integrate it into update and change management processes. And once you're done with your AR scenario, simply push it off to the Reflect One Augmented Reality Platform. Once it is published, it tells me also completed successfully, perfect, I can confirm this. This is step one and two of a simple three-step process, authoring and publishing. Do you still remember the third step? Right, viewing the content. And that's exactly what we are gonna do right now. Now it's time for the third step, the viewing part. So let's take a look at what we have just now created. 
the first thing I would do is utilize the Reflect Month viewing app to show me exactly the content that we have created using the Ref Team Center Reflect One integration. And already, it shows the technician out in the field a completely new way of retrieving information by combining the digital world with the real physical asset. And with it, he will be able to run smoothly through all the animated steps in order to maintain the entire automation system of the quality test machine. Um, first, of course, open up the doors, then turn off the main fuse. And how about we have a closer look and move in here? And the next step here, of course, is retrieving the drive units from the electrical cabinet. So a completely new way of telling the worker out in the field exactly what he has to do. And with augmented reality, let's freeze this here for a moment so I can show you. With augmented reality, you will be able to em enable and empower your workforce to do even the most complex tasks, even across language barriers. So what we have done today, it's a simple three-step process. Authoring, publishing, viewing. And I told you it's going to be easy.